Yep, that's why I came here. See that? So instead of coming just for a quick visit, I did stay a night at the uh, Discovery at Early Beach. Had a good look around the area. And it was time to head north. Yep, just coming into Bowen. Obvious what that is. There's an ant on there too. The big ant. Well, it's been a good drive to, to Bowen. Quite a good road now. Bit of a look at the information centre and then sort of head into town. I think this is made of stuff they've found at the beach. It's washed up on the beach. I'm not sure if they should have left it there. So this is the home of the Kensington Pride Mango. The Bowen Special. As they say. Now. Great thing about Bowen is that whenever you come here it's always nice and breezy. There's great uh, glass information boards at Bowen. Just over here we've got the Catalina flying boat one too, I'll pop over there shortly. So Bowen Jetty was completed in 1866, before that it's how the larger ships had to lay off the coast and unload into smaller ships to get into town. Now did you know that Bowen was the centre for the Catalina flying boats? Well. So this is where they were based and over here there should be, they're very faded now, but uh, the outlines of some uh, Catalina flying boats. I think if you Google Earth you should probably see those outlines a bit better. So yeah, PBY 5A. So I don't know if you can sort of make them out. Still here. Oh, that's really good to see. Yeah, let me just see if I can locate this camera down there. There we go. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? I think a lot of places should um, do their displays like this. Now, when I was here before. I don't know if those plants are in the background. You can line up this picture with the uh, tarmac behind it. Oh, this, this is great still. I'm glad it's still here. Many surveillance missions took off from here as well looking for the Japanese fleet. Are ready to invade Port Moresby. In May 1942, 11 Squadron and 20 Squadron relocated from Port Moresby to Bowen after continuous Japanese attacks.
Now I have a photo of a plaque coming up to commemorate the crash of Catalina A24-24. Uh, 17th of August 1943, crashed off Bowen. Six crew members and eight medical corps personnel were killed. All these little rocks everywhere. There's so much World War II history you can discover as you're driving around. Else you can find in the future. Just looking up the main street of Bowen here, which doubled as Darwin in the Australia movie. I do recognise that building there from the movie? I think Brian Brown was in that one. And just around to the left here, this was one massive movie set. Now this is where well, I'm pretty sure they had the replica of a hotel and streets of Darwin. I think they had their brawl down here. And, uh, oh, they attacked Darwin, the Japanese bombing. They pretty well had the, um, from the town to the wharf. But if you do know the Darwin layout, not quite accurate, of course, but I think they probably did their best. There's another big mango over there. Yeah, they say a lot of the locals were extras in this movie and I think it had a lot of backpackers as well playing the soldiers, which I think was like that when they filmed in Darwin too. Yeah, and here's the, here's the uh, movie prop here, the hotel. So there was a prop, the built, and that would have been just in there over there yep and up on the hill the big water tank for many years they had Bowenville no Bowen Wood written on it yeah they did a good job with their sets I think they possibly also put dirt down through some of those streets and uh, as you can see through there a lot of those buildings uh, you'd recognize those from the movie I would say Yeah, I need to go back and watch the movie to see which of these buildings were included, but I'd say that's probably one you saw. Definitely that one over there. And possibly that one. And that's like a little big mango. Way over there behind me is the uh, northern end of the Whitsunday Islands. See if I can figure out which islands they are again. Well, I found a great lookout in Bowen. Flagstaff Hill. Wish you could camp here. Yeah, so how's this for a lookout? Watch a view. And there's the Whitsunday Islands. I think Hayman Island. Where are we? Hayman Island is through there somewhere.
Looks like there might be another lookout, hopefully. Flagstaff Hill in Bowen, great view up here. It's uh, North Head Island, that's the lighthouse. We've got Stone Island as a resort, obviously. And all these hills in the background, it's all part of the Whitsundays, the northern end of the Whitsundays. And if you look to the south, you should have uh, Hideaway Bay and a lot of the mainland there too. I don't know if you can hear me, I might have to do something a bit later. So it was time to say goodbye to Bowen. I love coming to Bowen. And uh, yeah, heading north now to Home Hill and across to Charters Towers. And you should see the view from their hill and all their old buildings. So until next time, thanks for watching. See you later. Big Ant says goodbye too.